today I want to share with you what a calorie deficit is and how to determine if you're in one. Okay, so here's how this works. Person number A, if they consume 3,000 calories in a day, and at the end of the day, they burn 2,500 calories, this person is in a calorie surplus. So that means is either they're going to put on weight or body fat. At the end of the day, if they consume 3,000 and they burn 2,500, they are in a calorie surplus, their weight or body fat will be going up. So person number two, they have consumed 2,500 calories and they've burned 2,500 calories at the end of the day. They are in a maintenance mode. So their weight, their body fat is staying neutral, okay? It is not going up, it is not going down, it is staying the same. Now we have person number three. They have consumed 2,200 calories and at the end of the day, they burned 2,700 calories, 2,700 calories. So what that means is they're in a calorie deficit and their body fat or their weight will at the end of the day be going down. Now this is how you lose weight. This is how you gain weight. This is how you burn fat and this is how you gain body fat. It's very, very simple and there's a lot of ways to overcomplicate it. This is the simplest way that you can look at this. If you are consuming on this side, this is calorie consumption, more than you are burning on this side, then you are going to add weight or add body fat um, or even add muscle, but you will be gaining. You have a surplus of calories. Now, if these two sides are even, you're going to not lose weight, not gain weight, you're gonna stay exactly the same. And of course, if we have a higher number on this side over here than on that side over there, you will be losing weight, you will be burning body fat. You are not necessarily gonna see that change every single day on the scale, but if you maintain that long enough, it is impossible for you not to see that on the scale and not see those results. So this is the calorie deficit. And if you have any questions, just send a comment down below or let me know.